Now at noon, a fiery plane crash sends a flight instructor and two students to the hospital. The small plane went down in a Pompano Beach neighborhood, and now the NTSB is investigating what led to that crash. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Pompano Beach with the very latest. Hey, Ted. Hi, Walter and Vanessa. Well, right now, the NTSB is on the scene. They're picking through uh, the debris of this plane crash. Let's take a look behind us. Just a few moments ago, uh, a crane arrived. That's going to be used later on today as they try to get the wreckage out of the backyard of this home. Let's throw it up to Chopper 4, and I'll give you a better view of what's behind this home and in the neighbor's yard. This is where the actual plane crashed on Monday. First, it hit the roof, then bounced into a yard after taking off from Pompano Air Park, which is just a few blocks away from here. Up close video as neighbors use garden hoses to try to extinguish a plane on fire. I hope the person in the house is okay. The twin engine plane, like this one, crashed shortly after takeoff from Pompano Air Park. <laughs> the plane crashed into a fireball after hitting the roof of one home, bouncing, then coming to rest in the backyard of another home. I thought I was going to see dead people in the backyard. Three people were on board. We understand one was ejected. Everyone survived what was severely burned. We've learned one victim is Sylvia Coelho. She and the others are in critical condition at Jackson Memorial's burn unit. Investigators want to speak to them. What's going to be good about this is that we have three witnesses who are actually on board the airplane. And once their medical condition allows, we will be planning to interview them as well. Leah Reed is in charge of the investigation. She will also speak to witnesses who watched those final seconds as the plane went down like Michelle Miller. Just was in trouble, sputtered, came straight down. Did you hear it sputtering? I did, but then after that it was just a huge explosion. Jennifer Benson watched as it headed right toward her. It came in this way, turned that way, and then the plane tipped, tipped this way, hit the corner of that house and exploded. And then it went, it like jumped and then went through the back yard. And Chopper 4 live again as we're seeing the whole scene here. The wreckage uh, in the backyard there. This is where investigators are focusing right now. They're trying to see what answers they can get as they try to figure out what brought this plane down. Let's bring it out live again to the ground here. This is the crane that was brought in just a few moments ago. You can see they're setting up that crane that's going to be used as they try to remove what's left of that plane. Uh, later on today, they're going to be taking that plane out of here, bring it to a hangar not too far away from here where they can really study it to get a good idea uh, of what happened. Now, as for the victims, as we said three victims all at the Miami or at the uh, Jackson Memorial Hospital burn unit all of them in critical condition live in Pompano Beach Ted Scout CBS 4 News